Folks, I, I'm going to show you a, a couple things which we're also going to record and they're going to be animation related. Okay. Um, we're going to look at our first ever, um, our, um, our first ever cloth simulations and physics simulations. And I'm actually going to use an animation technique for that. Um, we're going to cover tails, uh, which are a combination of a rig and a physics thing, is the best way to put it. Uh, I have this from last time we were doing stuff, which is just a rig not doing much. Okay. Um, I'm going to select the synoptic view with an F3, and I'm going to um, reset myself so that we're in a T position. And what I want to do is I want to attach um, something like uh, banners coming from his hands so they'll move naturally as he moves around. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two tails and then I'm going to attach those tails to the hands so that when the hands move anything attached to the tails will move. Um, let me, I'm going to, you know what, I'll just do it, why not. Uh, you make a tail from a curve. So if I make a curve like this and I'm going to lose my grid just with the G button. Curve, draw cubic. I'll make it, I already have that one there, so we'll put it there, and then there, and then there, and there, and there. And then the right mouse button, or the escape key will get me out of this, like that. So I have this curve. I'm gonna duplicate it and make another with a D key like that. And let's put them near his hands. Uh, let's take that one, and I'll move it there. Uh, and I'll take my other one, which is somewhere around here. There it is. And I'll move it over here. Okay. Now, I have a curve selected. And if I look under skeleton, I can create a tail. I'm going to click it. Um, how many bones do I want to be in it? That's how many things will break it up. Um, I'll turn it up a little bit to about 16 bones, let's say, and then I'm going to hit OK. And it will take a second. OK. Now, I want to show you what it made. Um, if I hit an 8 key, you'll see I should have a thing in here somewhere. Uh, root. And this is all the tail stuff that's in there. Um, question? Yeah? What? Why don't you tell us, like, a straight line? That's a good question. Um, that would be fine. Um, I did them this way because I want them to curve when they move, and this is a thing about them. Um, they have physics on them, so if I grab it, see that? It would, except in this way, I know that it's going to, this way is going to go up and that way is going to go down. Um, I can do it with a straight line, too. Uh, you know what? Let's test it. Why not? Uh, I'll go like that. Yeah. And let's make one. Uh, skeleton. Tail, 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 tail. Uh, we'll give it 10 bones. Oh, it's unhappy with that. I, I probably have to give it more control points. Um, I can make a straight line. Let me just get rid of my junk here. Control Z. Go away. Oh, you know what? Let me try this. I'm going to try to get that that way and delete it that way. Good. Um, I will take, yeah, I could get a primitive, but that's a box. So let me do it this way. I'll do this as roughly a straight line like that, OK? And I will take that curve. I'll go skeleton, create tail, we'll say 10. Still unhappy. Let's find out why. There's a primitive. If I go under my primitive curves, arc, circle, spiral, I have square, but square would make a square tail, which would be, well, I don't even want to try that. Um, let me go to curve, and I should be able to draw linear. Okay, and actually, I'll just move the points to get them more 
aligned. So that's roughly a straight line, right? Roughly. Um, let's take that skeleton, create tail, 10. That's better. Okay. Now let's see what happens when we wave it. The only real difference in the waving is that it moves more as one piece. And I can actually control that later. Um, those balls there, these are actually things that allow me to control the tail. Actually, maybe they're the wrong, yeah. See, if I rotate that like that then, and I rotate that like this then, this should now respond differently. So I could do it with a straight line and then modify these things later if I wanted to. Um, might even be a better way to do it. Um, yeah, it's an interesting thing. But let me ditch it, um, even though that, that does work fine. It's a good way of doing it. There what? Yes, middle click. Let me make the other tail. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, skeleton, tail. Uh, we had 16 in that one. We'll put 16 in this one too. Although, you know what? To see something different, let's put in a much larger number in this one. Only Just cow. there. What? I'm only cow on a number. Probably we can go higher, but. I'm just picking that because it, it's its max thing. Normally, Softimage sets up limits on the numbers to like what extremes they go to. There we go. We got 50 bones on that one. Um, I can then actually, I could ditch the, um, yeah, well, I don't want to do that either. <laughs> I could ditch the, um, the curves, but since we're in T position, let me do some parenting. Um, I'm going to show you, we're going to look at the schematic. We're not going to, use it, but just so you can see it. Um, these are my tails over here, which I can tell because they have 50 nodes in them. It's a fairly um, complicated piece of control stuff because again, it, it, it has physics and it has animation on top of it and springs and a whole bunch of other controls. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent the root of them, which is here. Let's find that. Bang. Oop, I got the wrong one. Oh, where the hell's my tail root? Up, oh, my tail root is there. Yes, and I'm going to parent that to the hand effector. Um, I'll open up my synaptic view again. F3. Ah, oh, wrong thing. Uh, I'll keep that root there. I'll pick this. I'll open up the synaptic view like that. We'll now select this root with a middle mouse, and now I'm going to parent it. I can pick from here. Parent, 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 parent to this guy. Boy, I hope I'm not going to regret this. Not yet, anyway. Let me zoom in on it here. That's my effector, I think. Okay. This parent to this. Oh, I did that the wrong way. One more time. <laughs> I'm going to take my root. I'm going to parent it. Its parent is going to become this. And then I'm going to right mouse click. And then let's do the other side. F. So then let's do the other side here. F. I'm going to take this. Parent. We want to this is the parent, and then right mouse it, and um, I'm going to envelope something before I have a move, uh, just because I'm, I'm scared something might go wrong otherwise. <laughs> I'm doing this without a net, I haven't really done this one before. Uh, I'm going to take a grid, uh, polygon mesh, uh, grid, 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 good. Uh, we're going to give it a whole bunch more detail. Um, probably even more than that. Let's go um, 60 and 60. And we're going to turn this into a cape. I'll push it back here. I'll scale it like that. 
and like this. And let's take a look at our views here. We'll line it up. We'll put that up to there. And if I hit my F key here, this should be fairly well situated. Lose the grid. We'll put that like that. I'm going to give this a shot. Um, if I open up my Explorer, uh, we should have the two things that are going to hold our um, somewhere in this damn thing. <laughs> uh, if I was this, where the hell would I be? Scene route. Let me grab it this way. Uh, oh, I know where it went. Uh, if I hit F3 again, nope, if I hit 8 again, I should say. If we look at our biped rig, we're now going to find... Um, Ah, hopefully not in there. We're going to find our um, tails because we parented them. Uh, there, maybe. Where in the hell's my tail? Tail, tail, tail. Uh, it's a control group, so hopefully, hopefully, somewhere in here, I'm going to see a tail eventually. Tail, tail, tail. You know, I should just search for the damn thing. How do I search in this, Rajiv? Do you remember? Let's see if tail brings up anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is probably why naming it up. Oh, I bet you it's one of these guys. You could also type in like star tail spot over there. That would probably be better. Uh, see, that one. Down here? Please wild cards. F? Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see where they are. <laughs> um, they are deep in there. Uh, that's where the tails are. That's okay. As long as I can find them, that's the big part. Um, this is one tail controller. Let's see if we can tell the difference between them. Uh, although, you know, now that I think about it, I'm going to try this a slightly different way anyway. Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to go to envelope. I'm going to go to set envelope and I'm going to hit yes. And what I want is I want all of those bones, basically. Um, I can pick a branch, which means if I right mouse click in the right place, which should be here, I get all of those bones. And then if I go over to the other one, over here, right mouse click, I should get all those bones. Now, if I end my picking, this should assign, which it looks as it did. I'm going to increase the number of controllers a little bit and if this works. I'm going to hit play. I should save. I'm going to save. Save as Guy Cape. Now I'm going to hit play. And he's got a cape. Yeah. <laughs> and if I move him around, it should actually respond. Um, fairly accurately. I mean, there's probably uh, I'm getting a weird pulling thing, which is my own fault for probably putting in too many deformers. Uh, let me see if I can control. That's much better with many more deformers. Look at that. See that? And if I move a hand, it should move with them. If I go like this, see that? Now remember, it's a fake, but heck, it's a good fake. <laughs> Let's loop them again. like it's attached to them. Let's see it from the top. And we'll do it with a um, texture decal. So at least you can see it moving. And you see that the, um, the tails are getting out of control, which is okay. You can actually control a lot on the tails. Um, these deformers, for example, like we were using before, if I rotate this guy, 
it will change where that cape is and then this will play differently. See that? Anyway, it's, it's an interesting gag. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave that where it is. Uh,